See the number one car now heading back out towards the Mulsanne. Riding on board through this area where during the night we don't have very much camera coverage. Car 21 slow, so the Hanley car, we know about that. Interested to see what's going on with the Sally Yulik number 90 in the GTE AM category. The Aston Martin that we saw was stopped on circuit after it had had its, uh, its full service, including brakes. Factory Corvette there, 64, away it goes. Dolly Gavin on board that car. Car with a trouble as earlier on as we mentioned before at the um, an off at the Ford chicane. Um, struggled to get the car fired to go back into the pits, but they managed it in the end. Repairs carried out and on its way. Ollie, born in Huntingdon, lives in Olney near Milton Keynes. for the Chevrolet Corvette team for an awfully long time now, at least uh, at least 10 years. So the number 21 has made it back to the pits, turn it round and back in. Still waiting to see Sally Yulok uh, come across the line into the pits. I don't know if he's going slowly or not. Can't see him. There's no reports of a slow-moving car on screen at this moment in time. They're pulling the nose off the 21. Okay, away comes the nose. In they go. Having a good look underneath. Right front corner. Just Hello. rolling up to 10 hours to go. Five o'clock in the morning. Let's just keep a check on. My car two and car eight progress at five o'clock in the morning. Just had a message from Toby Moody that just says, just woken, OMG. Well, has he, has he read all our texts that we've been yeah. putting out to them? <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We, we have a WhatsApp group so that people know, and we've just been feeding them information of what is going on, and... Uh, yeah, that's what he's just read. So, uh, so car eight only made up six places in that last hour, and car two only made up one. Up to 13th is car two, so let's just have a look at it. 202, so he's now seven laps behind. Nine, ten hours to go. There is a big chance that we could have a... If there's no dramas, there's a big chance we could have a Porsche. One, two at the end of it. What is going on? Nicky team, 24 seconds advantage over his teammate, Darren Turner. Obviously, we had uh, the Porsche, sorry, the Ferrari into the pits for a change. The gap at the front, Oli Jarvis to Nelson Piquet Jr. That's a minute and five. That's pretty cool. Uh, this is on the hour now, uh, five o'clock in the morning. Will Stevens leads by a lap in uh, the AM category as the 68 Ford is on screen. Who is aboard the 68? It's Dirk Muller who is aboard that car now. So the thing is, is that, that uh, all that drama happened in, a, in, a, in an 18 minute sequence <laughs> kind of thing. Absolutely, I was just looking on the app at the videos actually and uh, the timings of them. Um, when you go into the app, you get the uh, do you want the spoiler mode or not? And there you go, no, I'll take the spoilers, please. <laughs> I'll take um, the spoilers. And uh, yeah, just looking at what's been posted, you know, nine hours, 57 minutes to go, track temperature still 30 degrees, air temperature still up at 18 degrees. I don't think we ever hit the uh, 
magic 17 that uh, they were talking of. I think we stayed well, well ahead of that. But certainly you and I arrived at just the right moment, didn't we? We did. And this is a battle for position. The 68 and the 63 cars, Muller versus Garcia. It is a little bit way down at the minute. It is for 7th well, and 8th, isn't it? But really. it'll <laughs> It's three minutes behind. It's They're just about to get lapped by, by team. But... Uh, Anything can happen, is that mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, the way these Bear two are... Mind, with these cars, the GTE class cars, they've all got to service brakes at some point, we think. The side-by-side um, -side coming down here, when I say anything can happen, it can happen right now. Oh, yeah, I, I, but... There's a bit of a wobble from the... Oh, he nearly went year, back underneath him. My memory of last year is that the Ferraris got away with only changing brake pads, didn't have to do discs. And that's how one... The AF cars started playing in to the, in, in the, the towards fight the end. towards the end. And I think we're going to see a similar thing. They're all going to be leaving it as long as they can to make those those bigger services. Um, you naturally do. Uh, but, you know, they're waiting for a safety car. They're waiting for a whatever they can get to make sure they can they can do it and get, get it done and out of the way. So in the shortest period of time. Sure, they would do lots. that from now on, wouldn't they? Yeah, I think we're, so. We're I over think halfway. Now we're we're yeah. at 10 hours. I think if, if you had a safety car now, you'd see a scurry of GTE pros in to get the job done. What I found interesting was the fact that the 99 Aston had to have it done. They've chosen to take the hit during green running, which means they must have been marginal. So that says to me that the pro cars probably using a little bit less brake. Right, OK. Because you've got a pro driver in them, carrying a bit more speed, a bit more lift and coast. Within an hour, I think you're going to see your Astons needing a full brake service. So, so they really, they, they, need, they need a brake somewhere, don't they? They need a yellow. They need a safety car yeah. to minimise the loss. Yeah, OK. Um, but let, let's see. I expect brake services from them uh, very, very shortly. But uh, Ferrari are going to have to do something. It's just what do they have to do? Um, and then Ford, same, same story. So we're just running through the overall classification, as you can see on the screen, but it is Andre Lotterer <laughs> in the number one Porsche who is out front. Uh, our LMP2 category, the, the, the second string category, is actually second overall with Ollie Jarvis at the wheel of the 38 Jackie Chan DC racing car. Then it is down to 20th overall for our leader in the GT Pro category, which is a category we've just been talking about, and it's the 95 Aston Martin. Nicky team aboard that car right at this moment. And then 31st overall is our leader of the GTE AM category, and that's the 84 Ferrari with Will Stevens aboard it. Back on board with our leader. Sun not starting to rise quite yet, but uh, during the next hour we'll start to see it brighten up a little running down 320 something kilometers there was lift and coast there so he didn't actually hit the peak he's trying to save fuel so he came out of the throttle and the speed started to fall before he hit the brakes and the, you heard the harvesting kick in so interesting that Lotter is choosing to try and save fuel whilst lapping in the 331s which is what he did last time round but uh, they're saving the car. He was told, well, half an hour ago, 40 minutes ago, look after the old girl. Yeah, absolutely. This, uh, whatever it was that he was feeling, this, this imbalance, this oscillation was the word used. Three hundred and seven, hundred and eight kilometers an hour. hear the whine there as it regenerates and harvests the energy back to the battery pack. You'll hear it again now. Same thing. Turns right through Arnage, slowest corner of the circuit, runs on down to the Porsche Cavs. This is our leader uh, that we are tracking for a lap by the looks of it. Entry into the Porsche curves, lovely smooth line through there, flick it through the left, not taking too much curve, not taking any risks. 
now come through the karting section. Not even letting it run there, super safe. Same again, not letting it run there, so, so safe. There. Normally you let the car run really high onto the, onto the runoff areas in both of those right-handers, but none of that, keeping it on the black stuff, making sure that they take absolutely no risks. Darren Turner pits. Oh, the four performance guys have a, have a rest, and the Corvette guy, oh, that's ARC Bratislava. And that's just two people, and another two people. So, uh, yeah, it's tough now. It is tough now for them. So, with that pit stop for Darren Turner, Nicky Team's lead goes to base two minutes. No, it's one minute 15. One minute 15 is, is, is his lead over Sam Bird. But Sam Bird has stopped. Yeah. And uh, Nicky Team will need to stop. Yeah. Bearing down the straight. This is the classification in LMP2. As we know, it's car 38, driven by Ola Jarvis at the moment. Nelson Piquet Jr. is just under a minute behind. And then it is uh, the third. So it's, it's DC, Jackie Chan DC. Oh, what's happened here? It's an Aston running out of brakes. Tur Turner and Sierra have swapped. Sierra is on the outlap. Doesn't feel like that was long enough for it to be. Last pit stop, 3.05. That is brakes. So Turner... You think? ...has done brakes. 97 took brakes at... Yeah. They can change them that quick? Yeah. Two minutes. OK. But, and you, do you think that was the 97 car going straight on? I think that was our class-leading car running out of brakes. Nick, oh. the team. So let's see, if team's stop is three minutes and five. So I can't remember the colours on there, mate. It'll tell me somewhere. It was like a greeny colour, wasn't it? Let me look at the, the spotters, guys. See if it tells me on there what they have. Do they have anything that might signal to me what colour? I think that was a 97 car. Looking at that, that's got a green strip on it, and the other one's got a red strip on. In which case, that was Darren Turner running out of brakes. Yeah, which is now not Darren Turner, it's but now it, Daniel Serra. If that's if that's correct, just looking at the picture on the spotters guide, car 98's pit stop under investigation. That is oh, that's a that Lana. Look at the shot. Oh, we just you just missed it. The uh, the orange glow underneath the Dunlop Bridge. It doesn't look... I mean, I know we've got a tinted window. Uh, and I'm oh. see in the Aston Martin garage. Yeah, this the is... The Aston isn't in... Right, the Aston is in the garage, because it's in pit lane, but if you look behind the Rebellion, they're in uh, neighbouring garages. There. It's in oh, the no. garage. It's in the garage. I, I didn't see it. I saw the 90 garage. It's I was... not in there, and it's not on its outlap. So it's in the box. So it's a, a, a brake pads. Brake, brakes and pads and discs for the uh, for the Aston. They're getting out of the way. It's amazing how quickly they can change them, can't they? Yeah, I mean, it's it's a straightforward operation. Two, two bolts that hold the caliper on. And uh, as long as you get it right, it's very easy. When you get it wrong, yeah. it is very, very time-consuming. So don't panic, is what it's, you're saying. It's exactly that. You can, If you just take your time, you can do it in no time. But if you get the guys pushing the, the pistons back wrong, getting one out of place, not paying attention, you know, which is very easy to do at this, this point in the race, then you can lose minutes and minutes and minutes. You can even end up having to re-bleed a, a, a corner and lose, you know, five or ten minutes. So teams on the outlap, Sorensen in for team, two minutes 32. So they did that 30 seconds faster for Sorensen than they did for Turner. OK, so he drops down to fourth in pro category. You're making a note of the brakes going in there, so that's OK. It's quite amazing how quickly they get them done. Uh, it's interesting that the second one, they did 30 seconds quicker. Yeah. 
This is the shot, look at that, just look at that. That is the sun in the distance starting to pop up. Still looks very, very dark outside, and I've not made the same mistake that uh, Peter Dunbreck made earlier in the week when he was trying to look through the black bags and he was thinking it was <laughs> dark outside. <laughs> we have some black plastic across the, the top half of the window. And um, because Peter's quite tall, he was looking, saying, God, oh, it's dark outside, I'm not so sure. And then he bent down to look at something else and discovered that uh, he was looking through the black plastic and not uh, the, the window. Yeah, you can tell dawn is starting to break from the the light in the trees. You can see more of what the peripherals are around there. But um, it's been a it's been a, a long night for Toyota. Uh, it's, yeah. yeah, it's it's just been. I mean, yeah, Brendan Hartley hasn't had the, the he's had a trouble-free run, uh, and he's all about making up positions. Here is Hartley, new tyres going on. That's potentially been a driver change as well if it's got tyres going on it. We'll find out. As he gets down to the end of the pit lane, it will trigger the driver ID tag. Bernard in. Timo is aboard. New mediums, front and rear. And you've got to be on it, haven't you, from the first Straight lap. out. Straight out, get on with it. Uh, it's around too much, you start losing tyre temperature, losing grip, and that then becomes its own set of headaches. Because they come out of out of warmers, don't they? They, they come out of an oven. an oven. So you're allowed a large oven at the back, generally a big kerosene heater blasting into it or ultraviolet uh, heaters. Um, and they'll sit there, rotating away, come out at sort of somewhere above 70 degrees, get them on the car as quick as you can and get it, get it down the pit lane. And work them. Yeah, and work them as hard as you can. And Magnussen sat there. Magnussen <laughs> in the uh, 63 car, which is currently running 11 seconds behind Andy Prio. Uh, they are one, two, three, four, five, sixth in the category. And uh, just uh, Garcia in that 63 car at the moment. Just looking for little battles that are going on. We just, with those pit stops, with the Aston Martin. They've pushed them way down, but they've got that out of the way. So, you know, it, it's not true, truly reflective. Look at that sun rising now over the uh, karting sequence of corners. Um, it's not truly reflective of the gaps because nobody else seems to have done a brake service yet. Oh, we've got a rebellion stopped. That's Julian Canal, I think. Looking at the... That looks like Canal's helmet. It does to me. But is, it, cycling the ignition. That's just that's the uh, uh, over the Dunlop under the Dunlop Bridge, isn't it? Where the yeah. Bugatti circuit joins. It's Union Canal. This is the car that's currently sat fourth overall, third in LMP2. Need to make a note of this for when the guys get in. Team are ready for it. This is the car that had the problems, has the problems, with traction control and gear shift. He's got it going, no problem. And away he goes. Anything look like it's falling off, hanging off? Not really. Strange place to stop, though, because it was on the way out of the bridge before you got to the Forest S's. like he'd chosen to pull over. Yeah, it seemed parked, didn't it? It seemed parked yeah. where he wanted to be at. Turned it all off, turned it back on, but... OK, he hasn't lost a place, so that's not a problem. He's got a minute and 46 over the 35 Signatech Alpine. So uh, no panic at all there. 
seeing Will Stevens pumping in some fast laps in the JMW AM class leading um, Ferrari 488. 36.7. This is, you know, traditionally this next two hours is is happy hour. This is where you start to see some real fast times come in as the sun comes up, the temp track temperatures cool, the air temperatures cool. This is the optimum. The track's going to be all weekend for the next couple of hours once the sun really starts coming up. But then the Aston Martins like a really hot track, haven't they? We've discovered this weekend. We have, you know. Uh, uh, oh, here we go. Is that him? Who's that going straight on? That's one of the Alpines. Alpine with the Elf sponsorship on the 36, nose. 36, 36. Yeah. That's got a puncture, I think, in the rear. Because it, it, it even, squirreled. Yeah. yeah. That was Menezes. The, yeah. Doesn't seem to have any luck, Menezes. So I think that's got a rear. A, a rear soft tyre, looked like a rear left, the way it was just squirming around. So we might get a notification saying... Sam Bird pits, going so slow. let's watch what's going on there, if we can. So you're watching the pit stop time. His last pit stop was a minute and 11 seconds. But you don't think they need pads potentially somewhere? They need pads, no yeah. shadow of a doubt. They don't have to do discs. But I'm wondering whether Sorensen didn't take discs because to do it 30 seconds faster is pretty impressive. There's a Ford here that's just running quite wide all over the place. I'm not sure whether it was uh, right. Well, there's nothing at the minute going on on this car. This is the Sandberg car. It was leading when it came in, but uh, we've just missed that picture there. Trying to work out where I'm at here. Dirk Muller. Yeah, this is this is Dirk Muller in the 68 car against the 63 Garcia car. This is still going on. Less than a second. It's been going on for a few, quite a few laps. This guy, this this little battle. And then Prior is only 5.6 away from Sorensen after his after the pit stop for the Aston Martin. Bird on his outlap now, 1 minute 14 stop, so no brake service for him. That's lovely, that, the sun just silhouetting the trees and the bridge and everything. to the pits. That is Ollie Jarvis, a leader of LMP2, the 38 car. Flashes the headlights at the team. I'm coming. On to his marks. Ollie having a conversation. The 50 Corvette as well in just uh, in front of it. This is just a check and a clean, some fuel, a drink. Away he goes. So and then P2 leader out for another stint. Jarvis has been pretty solid, hasn't he? Yeah, and he, he really did make a difference in there, the 13 car. This is the car of Nelson Piquet Jr. that is following him around, 50-odd seconds, nearly a minute behind, uh, and into the pits. It'll be a similar service for this car. If you look at what's happened over the last six hours, you know, Jarvis has caught, passed, and run away from yeah, because these two were they were one two cruising around very much. You yeah, know, and really, it's what he's done over the last three hours, and he's built a really strong lead over those guys. So, 55 second lead over Nelson PK Jr. as things stand. So, solid, solid stints from Jarvis. But that's why he's in the car, isn't he? Oh, yeah, absolutely. You know, Audi good enough to be an Audi factory driver. I think you're, you're 
got any LMP2 team in the world will snap your hand off. But, you know, 55 seconds he's built. It's, yeah. That's, that's seriously Sam impressive. Sam Bird is, is on an outlap, and Sam Bird is having the... Uh, a bit of a warning coming warning, up from Sorensen. Can you Two go seconds to away. Aston and confirm and that 97 and 95. Then there's Garcia is only two seconds service. behind Muller now. So that's a little bit of a little bit of a battle going on just there. And again, you probably don't need us to tell you, but that is in uh, GTE Pro, like it has been most of the day and most of the night. So uh, it's uh, As we just roll over, 5.23 in the morning. Nine hours, 36 minutes to go. Current tyres on the 38 car. They've done 18 laps and they're soft. That is Jarvis's car. And I think Jarvis will do two more stints on those. Um, we've got pit reporters back now, as uh, you may have just told. We've got Dun Duncan back with us. Duncan's off to have a, have a look at what he can uh, find out for us. But... Uh, that does seem to me that Jarvis might be able to do five, which was what Peter and I were talking about when he, when when we swapped over six hours ago. Would they be doing five stints? And I'm I'm pretty confident that uh, Jarvis is going to do it. So that would be Besh had managed it, uh, Senna who had managed it, and Jarvis all would have managed to do five stints on on uh, on tyres in the LMP2 class. Okay, the leader of the AM class is in here. I'm just watching also Sorensen now only a second away from Sam Bird. And uh, we're going to hopefully we'll find something out with uh, Aston Martin, exactly what was changed in those two cars, because Sarah has not really made an impression, has he, since he's kind of come back out. That, that, that has been stemmed, that flow. Uh, yeah, time-wise, lap-wise, it's not bad, but he just... Doesn't seem, but let's see what happens. We know that others have to do a service. Well, this, this is it, and that's why I'm just dispatching Duncan off down there to find out where we are, because I just want to understand who's where, because the, the next question after we've done the conversation about, right, OK, they are definitely done, is what do the Ferraris need and when? Yeah. That is it. I mean, it's now... It, Sam Bird's only got three tenths of a second. This is the fight, isn't it? This is a 95 car here. This is Sorensen. That's Sam Bird. And, oh, big braking area. Yeah, and, and he's done him. It's it's done. That was it? properly done in the brakes. And away he marches. Sorensen just drives away from, from him. Look at the way he's just leaving him. You know, fresher tyres, fresher brakes. 38, 48 to 53, he's about a minute off the lead, looking at this. Uh, yeah, pit stops are all a little bit mixed up with these guys. Glowing brakes, not so much, but a little bit of glowing brakes on the 71 Ferrari of Sam Bird. Sorensen is on his way, and he's now trying to track down 13.9 seconds away from the Porsche, our only remaining Porsche. So, uh, Duncan is in the pit lane. Not sure if he's got anything what for us got, mate? I'm just trying to find, we're trying to find out. Duncan, we're going to make him do some work as soon as he's arrived. We might as well. So, uh, this is the uh, Sorensen car. Samper. They all seem to be running a bit wide there and just kicking up the dust. I think I've seen that a couple of times before, about three or four laps ago. And uh, they, I just think they're just going... A little bit further, a little bit further, a yeah. little bit further. Yeah. As happy hour begins, yeah. Definitely becoming brighter out there. The sky starting to lighten. You can see it in that shot there. Beautiful red sky in the distance. Cooper McNeil bringing it. Oh, no, you were right. You were right. Yeah. Who is it, though? Oh, it's the Topworth Khan. It's stuck. It's stuck. The 34. Karun Chandlock has got the thing stuck. That looks like the Porsche curves to me. The, but this has been round. The wiper's up. This car's been round at the no, Porsche curves. Uh, often when these Ligiers go off, that happens. And how many times have we seen a Ligier do the same thing? Yeah. 
they all seem to have the moment going through there. And it flat spotted the tyres because you saw the sparks yeah, coming from the yeah. tyres. Interior light came on as well. Yeah. <laughs> so 34 is in the gravel. Kroon Chandlock is in the gravel. Currently, he was sat in 13th place overall. So, uh, oh dear me, and that's going to be, uh, I don't think it'll be a safety car, but it'll definitely be a, a slow zone. A slow zone, zone to, get that out. It's yeah. got to be picked up, hasn't it? Why do the Ligiers keep having that same movement, moment over the same bump? We've seen it all week. Yeah. And it's only ever the Ligiers. We saw it in warm-up, didn't we? The, uh, the 17 IDEX Sport car went across the bump and then whoosh, turned around and nosed into the barrier. So, um, yeah, there does some, seem to be something that the Ligiers don't like there. Yeah, pre prepare for slow zone at sector eight now. Uh, the way uh, Nakajima came through that final chicane, I thought he was going to have a little pirouette. He did, he just bounced it across the curbs and it just, just kind of hopped across. I was thinking we were going to have a little bit of a moment, but uh, he, he got away with it. that. <laughs> so does his teammate Kobayashi on qualifying of hopping it across there. Uh, has that car 62, are we, yeah, Townsend Bell now into the 62 car. That is, he's dropped a position in Am. He's gone from third to fourth, but Townsend Bell 20 seconds away from third. Uh, just looking around what else is going on. Oli Jarvis, now we've settled down after the pit stops. He has a 50 second advantage in LMP2 over Nelson Piquet Jr. Will Stevens still leads. He has a lap uh, advantage in uh, GTE Am. Yeah, but the 99 car, Ross Gunn on board, the Beach Dean Aston Martin, has brought that car now up into third place in the uh, GTE Am class ahead of Townsend Bell, um, which is ebbing and flowing with the pit stops. But Gunn on 13, Bell on 15, so Gunn owes us a stop and with only a 21 second gap, hence having jumped him. So in pro, the gaps are, Sam Bird's only, he's only dropped a couple of seconds in the last lap and a half to Sorensen, so he's keeping him in check. But Prio is starting to come quite quickly towards Sam Bird. He is starting to come, Bird's just got a full tank of fuel, but new tires. Prio's on older tires and yeah. less fuel, but he is starting to come down two seconds, 2.4 seconds a lap on the last lap, he was quicker. Uh, and then he, and then Dirk Muller was even quicker than that. He was eight, eight tenths quicker than his teammate Prio. This is no, by no means over and done with in. Uh, Ryan Briscoe okay, in the pits and some work going on on the back of the back car. Back of the car, yeah. Just hearing from Duncan, so find out what's going on there shortly. Five thirty in the morning, nine and a half hours to go. That is the Toyota of Kazuki Nakajima. He had the Toyota heartache last year, and today, in the night. It was Kamui Kobe Ashi, and who was right? I can't even remember who was driving the other car. Nicholas Lapierre, and this is uh, look how oh that's that's, that's, <clears throat> that's the Tokwith car getting yeah. pulled back on down at the loop. Yeah, I I I, I had a feeling it had been round when I saw the windscreen wipers up yeah, off the window. It pops open. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, sorry, yeah, round rather than rammed. I'm with you now. Uh, uh, I said round. Not it's rammed. Been, yeah, uh, it's been round. Tell we're getting tired, can't you? So, um, so Duncan just confirming there that uh, 95 and 97 are good to the end on brakes. So uh, they're done. That now means what Duncan now needs to do is go and find a man at AF Corsa and ask him what they've got to do. Uh, because I think the answer is going to be they need to do full brake service still, which means the Aston's advantage is going to be back as soon as that happens, unless the Ferrari gets the opportunity to do it under safety car. 
Yeah, I mean, we've got a slow zone, but you see how quickly it can change. That, that potentially could have been all we needed there was for that car to go off and someone else to stop somewhere. Exactly, and, and we would, you would have, have had a, a different situation. Yes. I think during the night we've been more careful with throwing safety cars instead of just slow zones. Well, hang think about, about some had, of the things we've seen. Oh, I don't know. We had a lot of safety cars. That were, Lapierre's issue happened after the Kobayashi safety car. And yeah, but during that night, that's my point. We had, more safety, we had a lot of safety cars. During the night? Yeah. Yeah. So I you think, think now just slow zones? Yes, because right, you've got sorry. daylight, it's safer. Yeah. You can do it. So I think we're going to see more of that. Chandlock is back on pit road. I see what you mean. Yeah, so it, it, it's not going to be. Yeah, yeah, I see. So work Less on. Less chance. Work, you can yeah. work under. Whoa. Whoa. Very close in the pit lane as they wheel 66 out, try and wheel it into the path of the, uh, the golf racing car. Um, yes, yeah, slow zones rather than safety exactly, cars. Exactly, because it's now... The marshals can see what they're doing. Yes. The pressure's off a bit with the with some daylight coming. So I think that's what we'll see. I think it'll be uh, be carry on. Right. Last night it certainly felt like until the light went, we were doing a lot more, say, slow zone work. Karun is out of that car. Driver change going in. This is the 34. It's Tokworth Motorsports. That looked like Phil Hansen going in. Tyres going on it. Now, those tyres have some severe flat spots on, uh, definitely on one or two of them. What is going on? Sam Bird, only, this would be the Sam Bird fight here. Uh, Sorensen to Sam Bird, 1.1 seconds. And then, oh no, I don't know who that is behind. That's another Aston Martin behind. I'm not sure because behind is Andy Prio on the running actual on the results, but I'm not sure whether that's another Aston Martin of some sort in there, but yeah. that's one thing when it gets light, you can actually see a bit <laughs> more, can't you, and work out. What's actually, going, going on, yeah. yeah, Bertolini and Long running together in the AM class. Okay, we've got Duncan down in the pits, we'll throw over to him because he's been talking to the AF Corsa guys. Yeah, good morning, everybody. Just had a, a quick word with uh, James Collado there, and he updated me on the, the situation of AF Corsa just now. Both cars still require a full brake service, so as you were saying, the advantage might swing back towards Aston, or not might, it will. Aston 95 and 87 having done their brake service. Also, an update on the 69 Ford. It was brought into the pit lane, onto the blocks, into the garage. Bit of frantic work at the back end, but the team assured me it was just precautionary, just checking something that they needed to have an, a, a quick look at. So, cars already out and away. It was only in the garage for maybe about a minute and a half. Thank you, Duncan. That confirms the suspicions. So, uh, well, advantage back to Aston if the Ferraris don't get the opportunity to do it under safety car. Lotra's last lap. Ah, it's a safety zone, slow zone, sorry. I just had a little bit of a worry as I saw a four minute seven, but then I looked down and, a t and we had for Timo Bernard, four, 3.43. Uh, and it wasn't an out lap. No, no, 17. Uh, no, 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 that's Fabian Bartes. Finger down. I'm going even more here. Oh, someone's... Oh, oh. That is Aston. That's the, the DF Sport. Aston, 90. you look on board. It's 90. Ross... Sally, you look on board. No, no, this is even worse than I thought. Bernard did a 3.26. Yeah. To a 4.07. For lottery, yeah, yellow slow zone. Yeah, but they've both got to go through the slow zone. No. It ebbs and flows. The slow zone came in. All oh, right. Okay. So because the slow zone came in, okay. Lotra got we're caught back. in it and 32 yeah. now. We're back. Yeah. Okay. So who's board the 90 car? On board the 90 car, Sally Ulick. Yeah. Um, the man that's paying the bills. So it's all right for him to have a spin. Oh, isn't someone's it? going slowly here. Someone's going very slowly, and other people very overtaking slow. in the yellow zone. Yes. Ugh, it's all getting a bit. It's a. I think it's a Ferrari. It's the one at the back of it's this. It's going to come in past us. It's the one at the oh, back. That is, that's the leader. That's the JMW car, yeah. Now, that's not taking any gambles. It's seen the yellow flags. And, and lifted. And lifted. Other people have overtaken him. Yes. Two cars the... have overtaken him. 
So uh, there'll be some investigation for overtaking under yellows coming very shortly. Jarvis's gap at the front of P2 is 49.7 seconds. It's kind of just held that now. Yeah. Samber just holding as well, 2.3 seconds. So he's kind of holding his own between him and Sorensen. Currently, he's third and fourth in the pro category. 90 car will be recovered from that zone. It's just stuck at the minute. Is it? A yeah, so we've got the slow zone coming past us now. Many cars with number boards now out. That will have to get sorted at the next stop. Is that just a connector? Sometimes it can be, but it, it depends. It's um, it, you know, often they they're just a photo of a volcanic cell, and sometimes they just pack it in, and you have to change the the entire board. Normally, it's quicker just to change the board than it is to start trying to mess around working out whether it's a connector or not. Right. Yeah. Um, as long as there's a power feed to it. Just looking at. Uh Japanese, they're still here though. The Japanese fans are still here. Waving they, the Kazuki Nakajima flag behind them. They got one. I imagine there's been some tears shed in there. They were all up. When I went outside for uh, earlier on, uh, just before, well, that half an hour before our first stint in the box, well, the, the, all the Japanese were up here going into the Japanese television commentary booth. Uh, the team, the bosses and everything, and all kind of being introduced to everyone, and then it was looking oh so good. Yeah, absolutely. It was looking oh so good. As we see the eight Toyota come in from 27th position, Kazuki Nakajima steers the car down pit lane. Underneath that famous trophy, sitting on top of the podium. We've got a driver change going on. Nakajima didn't seem to have been in that car very long. I think they're just going to cycle through now, aren't they? It's just cycling through to the end. So Nakajima out. Buwemi in. in. Yeah, it's Buwemi. Yeah. Uh, that cameraman got in the way again. <laughs> yes. Maybe Duncan can have a word. Yeah, he's the, the marshal. The, the mechanics had a word with him. So. Uh, Tire change now. New tires look great, don't they? They do. Didn't look to be much wrong with the old ones, but uh, new driver, new tires, generally the rule. And Alan saying over the week we've been here, saying that uh, it's not a particularly hard circuit on tires. So. Uh, no, the, the tyre that gets the hammering is the left front. Um, the others get nice, nice amount of rest, but uh, left front through the Porsche curves, um, through the first corner, and then through Tete Rouge is the one that really gets a, a, good, a good hammering. Uh, Sam Bird coming back towards Sorensen. It's only eight tenths of a second now. It was down to, it was out to 2.1. Back now down to eight tenths. That is a battle for third and fourth. Sorensen really needs to know what Ferrari and Porsche are doing, because he is, what is he behind? Safety car. 46. Safety car. Safety car. Why do we have safety car? I mean, we've got a zone 33, a yellow, but Safety car is leaving us now, so I can confirm it's not an error on the screen. Lights are flashing, and... Oh, this is another car off. That, that's a... a, a, a the, uh, oh! the big hit. Who's that, though? That looks like the other manner to me. We'll see when the screen's update. That's just up the road from, yeah. the, from the commentary box, but we can't see it. It looks to me like the other manner. Did it? 
So what cars are the man at? That, the other man 24. Uh, has got Tor Graves on board at the moment. 24. Currently sitting in sixth place. We don't know that for certain yet. We will probably get a better picture of that soon. Um, but a lot of these cars look quite similar, don't they? The colours. Yes, particularly in the P2 class. There's so many of them. Yeah. And, and so many of them have got a red roof. Yeah. The red air scoop. But then other, other distinguishing features. And that was what I picked out. The red air scoop, but the manners are slightly pinkier red, um, which is what makes me think it's uh, that car. I tell you who has mm. dropped a place. Collard has dropped a place in the 28 car. Just looking at it, no one's in the pits, and he's, the 28 car's dropped a place. You see? Yeah. Yeah. Does that tell us Manu something? Collard in the 28. Would you? That, yeah. That's could a well red be. and white. It's red and white. Could well be. Uh, oh, someone else who's dropped the place is. The 21, but that's white, it's not that car. I think you could uh, be right. I think 13. You could be right. Yeah, I'm just, it's just because I'm looking at who who is, because it was going at some speed to go that far off, and it had a bit of a whack <laughs> in the front end. Okay, uh, what else not is... Not the sort of error I'd expect of Manu Collard, though. We don't know what happened though, because that, no. that, that was still travelling at a long, yeah. lot of speed a long way off. Yeah. These boys are catching this. They're still racing until the safety car, aren't they? And you think this is... With extrication vehicles on the set. Yeah. And there the man at So they haven't those, caught yeah. anybody, have they yet, you see? That's the 51 is in the pits. It's coming in. It's in the pits. Well, will this, this be? will be the brake service. It's got to be a so, brake service. Um, if Duncan go, can get down to AF, I think you're going to see 71 carries on, which surprises me because this is the opportunity to get that brake service done under safety car because and neutralise the time. So long lap, haven't they now? Yep, this is the time to do it. OK, let's just... They'd uh, probably, yeah, they're ready. Look, they're going to put wheel the car back into the garage. They've got the dollies ready. Yeah. So this is it. This is advantage Ferrari. And a driver change. And no driver got into yeah, that Yeah, no car. need because They'll the driver can get in once... You wouldn't put the driver in because... You want want to make sure that no one presses the brake pedal while you've got the <laughs> <laughs> while you've got the, the just completely the, uh, mess it all up. Yeah. So. Right. Thirty nine. What car's thirty nine? That's too dark a colour. I'm now looking at P two cars that have dropped down the order. We've got two that Manu have dropped. Collard. Uh, Collard. Yeah, I think it's Collard because he was in the right uh, he was in the right sector and he's not completed the sector. Ah yes. So I think yes. you're absolutely yep. right. I think it's Collard. Yeah. Called the 28 uh, TDS Racing. LMP2 Still unconfirmed. Look at all those people sleeping on there. Poor people. I bet there was some night there this, the, during the night. All sorts of shenanigans going on, on and off track. But yeah, it's unconfirmed it's Collard. That's just us looking at the monitor and trying to kind of work out who's dropping positions as we speak and it's not that car that's a 38 so it's not jarvis that yeah. could have been a lead do you reckon that it's, could have been a it's collard it's uh but uh, ollie jarvis been into the pits taking advantage of that big lead it's just sat waiting now at the end obviously we oh here we go right let's try and work this out come on oh oh at the big skid and a big hit. That is a big hit. That come quite a long way back up. Uh, is that that team? That's TDS, yeah. That's it. That's TDS. I can't even remember what colour car. What car I said it was. It's the TDS. Uh, Twenty-eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. Collard. Okay, that's not going anywhere, is it? No, absolutely. Man who was out the car, he walked all the way up round behind the barrier. Um, at the point where we saw uh, saw our shots change to him, so certainly there. So yeah, Duncan confirming 51 is getting full brake service. So the uh, the guys at Ferrari get away with a free um, a free brake service. Where was that crash out? Car that was exit the exit of karting. Exit of karting. Okay, 
Let's just run through a leaderboard while we've got a safety car out. Ferrari taking advantage. Uh, Muller in the pits also. Oh, they're now fitting one of the floppies. Are they gonna, they're putting that actually back in. That will annoy the drivers. They, they, they've been gone for however many hours and now they're back in. Uh, some racing lines might need to be adapted <laughs> for that. But uh, Andre Lotterer leads the 24 hours of Le Mans, the 85th running of the 24 hours of Le Mans with nine hours, 12 minutes to go. It is Porsche number one in number one uh, position. Second place is uh, Nelson Piquet Jr. This is going to change because we've got a safety car and Ollie Jarvis is parked at the end of Pitt Road waiting to uh, come out. It's actually not Ollie Jarvis in the car. They have changed that. It is oh, hoping Tung's back in it. Yeah. So Jarvis he, went in for a double. Yeah. And then back out, Tong back in. So, the, the, it, well, that might, nine seconds, that's not so bad. That probably maybe is correct when they get the. He's in the same crop. He's in the same queue, isn't he? Yeah, so they have just updated now. He is, yeah. yeah. So, uh, it, PK Jr., followed by Hoping Tong. That's the cars 13 and 38. They're our first two in LMP2. The third one is the 31 Orica of uh, Julian Canel. He's a lap down. Going down to the pro category, GTE Pro. It is Leitz in the 91 Porsche, who is out front. He's 1.4 seconds ahead of Sorensen, who's then six tenths of a second ahead of Sam Bird. So there's two seconds covering, just over two seconds, 2.1, covering our top three in GTE Pro. And uh, there's a, it's not, to be fair, I only have to go another couple of seconds down. Oh, no, no, I'm right. No, there's a, there is a bigger gap on the next lap, Prio to Magnussen and Collado. There's uh, only five or six seconds between them as well. Moving across to the AM category in GTE, and it is Will Stevens in the pits at the minute, but Will Stevens leading. He's got a lap. There it is. Brake pad change. Brake discs on the floor as well. Yeah, full, full brake service, front and rear. Do that because they can. Yeah, JMW guys choosing to do an a, a corner at a time. Normally, you would do an axle set at a time, so you'd have the guy go on, and each guy, you'd have somebody at the front orchestrating, put the pad pushes in, and then you'd say, squeeze, and everyone pushes back at the same time to make sure you don't fire the pistons out um, onto the uh, onto the floor, and then you, you'd get away with doing the, yeah, the axle sets like that, but um, they're choosing to do it uh, corner for corner to make sure there can't be any errors which, while well, they've got this safety car and a nice comfy lead, makes sense to do. So we're under a safety car for what we believe is the... Tw yeah, it's now come up as stopped. Yeah. Or slow, depending, yeah. but we know it's stopped. And it's to the left-hand side of that shot, the 28 car of Emmanuel Collard, it will heavily, heavily hit the wall and a long way off and hit the wall and rebounded back a fair distance. But you saw... Yeah, Manu was out the car. You, you saw him out he the was car. Okay. He, he was back behind the wall. So, uh, just checking any news up on uh, social media. Let's see if 71 comes in. Is 71 in this crocodile that's now coming past us? Um, pit entry, yes, so 71 in full brake service and is that that's just to let the other car go and get yeah, it. the one exactly. cars in also the leader of the race is in okay we're going to hear from the leading car andre lotterer andre reminder do not loosen your belt until you're stopped and be careful of the antenna as you get out go for you shouldn't he kind of know that no that's stuff. normal stuff and is yeah. always run through that stuff with okay them. You do the same thing. I mean, I, I've always had the same routine, the same five things I say to every driver on pit entry and pit exit. You know, dip beam, uh, all the things that you, you just you want them to do. Run through to make sure that it's it becomes a second nature. But if you've run yeah. it through with them, there's no excuse as to why they get it wrong. Um, so you know, seat back, loosen the harnesses. It's saying keep the belts on. Don't loosen your harnesses because the FIA are obviously being fairly strong on that in terms of the safety element um, but you do all those things um, and run through the fuel reset um, 
East here and Duncan's got uh, Puer Greedy with him, so over to Duncan. OK, we're standing in the pits of AF course here. You can hear the brake discs hitting the floor. Another safety garage from the 71 car, but the man who's just stepped out the 51 car, that's Andrew Perguiri. A bit of luck there, a bit of fortune. A safety car comes out, which means you get effectively a free brake service on the car. Everything happy, everything good with that? Yeah, well, we, we did a good job so far, and uh, the car is running well. We used this safety car to do the disc to the brakes, change the brakes and the pads. The, the guys at Russia guys did an amazing job, they were super quick and uh, we went out with uh, the green so we didn't wait uh, the, the second, the other safety car so we lost uh, as, as less as we can so now we see. At this stage of the race, sorry, at this stage of the race, how are you feeling physically and mentally because we've, we've been through the night, we're coming back into what will be a beautiful sunrise, how are you coping, how are you feeling? I'm quite tired, like uh, everyone, so I, I did four hours in the car, and uh, it's quite tough, especially with this temperature. Uh, but now we have some time for rest and take some massage, so then I will be okay for the next thing. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Ciao. Thank you for that, Duncan. So, uh, lots of work going on. That's a 71 car. That was a quick change. Brake surface service done. Yeah, he's going to be lucky enough to get out before the safety car, as long as he's quick. Looking around the corner to see where the safety car is. Yeah, he's done it. The other trick that you always have to do is pump the pedal. <laughs> I've... Uh... I've had some uh, some experience in the past of a uh, car going down hangar straight and I've told the driver, pump the pedal, you're not going to have any, any brakes come the end of hangar. Make sure you keep pumping the pedal. He said, but I've got a pedal, not realising that what I meant was uh, the pads need to bed themselves onto the disc and when you hit the brakes at 130 mile an hour at the end of hangar straight, you're, you're actually knocking the edges off the pads. <laughs> you get there in the end. Sam Bird there, looking rather warm. His race suit just looks so wet, soaked. isn't it? Yeah, I don't know whether he's already been out the back of the garage and given himself a dunk and come back in, or, uh, or if that's uh, or if that's sweat. Okay, so we are nine hours five minutes from the end. It's so coming up to six o'clock in the morning. We've got another safety car. Next little mission: when a Porsche doing brakes because they still haven't done them. Well, with their, with the, the 91 car, yeah? Yeah, exactly. So uh, that's Aston done through with brakes, Ferrari done and through with brakes. Um, I'm not entirely certain where Ford are, but we know the car's been back in the garage. So I suspect that uh, Leeds would have, you would have thought, got it done now. So uh, Duncan's with Earl Bamba. We'll throw over to him now. Good morning, Errol. How are you doing today? Okay? Yeah, good, thanks. I mean, uh, just woke up, so just about to walk across and see the race engineer. We've got a little tough job on our hands trying to uh, catch the LMP2s and claw our way back into it. Yeah, but it's been it's been one heck of a good recovery drive to, to get yourself back up, but uh, realistically, where did you see yourself fitting in with this one? Where did you see yourself finishing? I mean, uh, to be honest, a lot finishes uh, with these safety cars and how long they last, because obviously safety cars means less time and we're not uh, gaining the P2s, but uh, it's good to be back inside the top 10 now, inside the points, and now we just uh, keep trying to pick off, and we have about more, six, seven more laps that we need to get. Where, where are you in the car? Uh, in next, after Timo, so he'll do his stint, so uh, get up and see the boys, they look all pretty tired, they did a mega job to change everything just before, earlier yesterday, so uh, full credit to them, so uh, now let's see if we can get some rewards for them. Thank you very much. You can see the fatigue in the pit lane garages, guys. Everybody's just, you know, you'll see it in the cameras yourself. People sleeping on bricks, people on blocks, people on the floor. It's a, it's a tired pit lane. Thanks for that, Duncan. Yep, we can see that. Timo Bernard in the car, the number two car. It's 10th overall at the moment. Seven laps behind, as Earl Bamba was saying. And uh, on pace alone, I believe it can get back to second overall, but he doesn't need too many slow zones or safety cars. Did you say you had Sam Bird, yeah? Or oh, you're heading to Sam Bird? Oh, you got Sam with you. Okay, we'll cross to you now. Sam Bird, finally we got a chance to catch up and talk. It didn't happen earlier on, like yesterday. Um, first of all, a great bit of luck with the safety car, giving you effectively a free brake service here. You look absolutely drained though after stepping out of that AF course Ferrari. Yeah, it's... Um... Things are starting to, to look up a little bit. We had a very difficult beginning of the race. Um, 
the boys did a really good job just then on changing the brakes. I've, I've never seen them change that quick before. So that was really impressive, thanks to them. And now we've got uh, nine hours of uh, sprint racing ahead of us. What's your plan in uh, the next kind of couple of hours? Anyway, I see Pierre Greedy was getting a banana on board. What are you going to do? A little massage, lie down some fluids? Yeah, I've just had my banana as well. Um, it's going to be a tough race. We are we're hanging on in there. That's how we're racing at the moment. We're hanging on and hoping for breaks with good strategy and things like that for sure. I don't think we've got the legs to beat people on pace, but if we can outsmart them, then we'll take it. Yeah, thank you very much, mate. Good luck. Go and get yourself uh, rested up. That's Samberg. Thank you for that. So uh, we're just uh, whizzing down. Uh, we got a driver change in the number one car. Neil Yanni or Janni is in there. Uh, PK Jr. is in the 13 car. Now that is a position change also. We've got to remember the pit stops going on because Hoping Tongue now in third. Well, when I say it's position change, it's because they're behind the safety car. Uh, that changed before and they're in the same line, they're in the same crocodile, so to speak, but PK Jr. now in. So we've got two fast cars, two fast drivers in two fast cars there at the front, but that is LMP2 battling for overall podium as well. Right, let's just quickly, before we swap over, would you a commentary team change? The drivers are changing brakes and driver change. Would you a commentary change? We've been in here for six hours. It hasn't felt like six hours, I have to say, but uh, the 91 Porsche of Leeds Leeds um, the pro category, but he does, I mean, they are all in a, a line of traffic and uh, Sorensen is only 1.4 behind him. So this will mix out, but while we are in a safety car, and that was for the Collard crash, just near the end of the lap, very, very heavy into the, uh, into the wall, just near the end of the lap. And the 84 Ferrari, having had a full brake service, is still in the lead in the AM category. So as we clock over to six o'clock in the morning, Toby Moody and Peter Dumbreck will guide you through the next six hours of the, seven, uh, the 85th, 24 hours of Le Mans. Me and Giles, not sure what really...